hello and welcome to my channel guys in today's video we are going to be talking about suma the turkish construction company that recently completed a new terminal at freetown international airport in sierra leone this project was completed under a 270 million dollar bill operate and transfer contract with the sierra leone government let's take a closer look guys the new terminal building covers an area of 14,000 square meters or 150,000 square feet. It features state-of-the-art facilities, including a new baggage handling system, upgraded security measures, and modern check-in and boarding areas. The terminal is capable of handling up to 1.5 million passengers per year, a significant increase from the airport's previous capacity. The completion of this project is a significant milestone for both SUMA and the Sierra Leone government. The new terminal is expected to help boost tourism and economic development in the region, and it represents a major investment in the country's infrastructure. It's important to note that the $270 million contract between SUMA and the Sierra Leone government is a build, operate, and transfer agreement build operate and transfer agreement let me break it down guys a bot agreement they are type of public private partnership that involve a private company in this case suma designing building and operating a public asset which is the new airport terminal for a certain period of time before transferring ownership to the government the private company is typically responsible for financing the project and they may coop their costs and make a profit by collecting revenue from the assets. In this case, airport services such as parking, concessions, and other fees during the operating phase. This means that SUMA will upgrade the terminal for a certain period of time before transferring ownership to the government. During this time, SUMA will be responsible for maintaining and operating the facility as well as collecting revenue from airport services such as parking, concessions, and other fees. Despite the high initial cost of the renovation, the new airport terminal is expected to bring significant benefits to the citizens of Sierra Leone. For example, the new terminal represents a major investment in the country's infrastructure, which is important for economic development and attracting foreign investment. With improved facilities and capacity, the airport is expected to attract more tourists to the country, which can create jobs and generate revenue for the local economy. The modern facility and upgraded security measures at the terminal are also expected to provide a better travel experience for passengers, making it more likely that they will choose to fly through Freetown International Airport with the ability to handle more passengers and flights. The new terminal will enhance connectivity between Sierra Leone and other countries, making it easier for people to travel for business or personal reasons. The private company operating the airport will collect revenue from airport services, which can provide a source of income for the government and help fund the public services. The completion of this project is a positive development for Sierra Leone and demonstrates the benefits of investing in infrastructure. While it is important for the government to carefully consider the terms of any agreement with private companies, the new terminal represents a major step forward for the country's transportation infrastructure and is expected to have a lasting impact on the economy and the lives of the citizens of Sierra Leone. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the importance of investing in infrastructure. If you have any questions or comments, guys, please feel free to leave them below. And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more informative videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys.